How you going everybody? John from Solo Boss. Here we are. Um, doing a gutter clean. As you can see, it's a split level house. As you can see, my little friend up there and his little friend just flying around. They've had problems with pigeons, which has caused um, them to put twigs and stuff in the gutter which blocks up your gutter um, as we can see in the background up there there's some grass growing in there already that they've dragged up in there so we're gonna get up on the roof have a look around right around clean them all out and um yeah <laughs> see what's up there let's go as you can see it's raining today so that doesn't stop me from going what we're going to do is have a look around in every single gutter get up on the top roof here and then um see what they're doing i guarantee they're nesting on the solar panels because there's a solar panels on the top the solar panels tend to be where they always nest they get in up underneath them um, but as you can see, all the lower gutters look fine. There'll be all the top ones we got to get up to. When you're up on a roof like this and it's pissing down rain and it's wet, make sure you check your footing and don't rush your job. Just because it's raining, don't rush. Um, Last thing you want to do is slip off a roof because it's wet and you're up on a roof. So always be careful. I've got my shoes on, my wet shoes on. Give me a bit more grip. So slow and steady and we'll get it done. We're going to get wet either way. So slow and steady. Let's go. Let's get up to that top roof. Just to check over these um, gallons all clean. <clears throat> when you're walking on metal roofs too, always walk side-footed, not up and down like that. Otherwise you'll crinkle the tin. So walk side-footed. Try and walk on your nail lines too, where your strongest point is. So we check these ones, and they're all good. So, like I said. The problem is up on the top level and that's due to the pigeons so let's get up there and have a look so as you can see that side there it's got a little bit of bits and pieces of rubbish so you suck that out with the vacuum that one there will pull out and then we'll suck that all out with the vacuum i don't know if you can see the water's pooling up on the back side of that grass so then eventually that'll tuck into the in into the eaves of the house. That's right there, I pulled off that other grass. This guy's he's done the right thing. He's invested into some um, bird wrap around his solar panel, so obviously just waiting for the pigeons to bugger off. As you can see, they're bringing up strawberries and, and pooping everywhere, causing a hell of a mess. So, I might quote him on a roof wash just to clean up. Just being very careful, it's pretty slippery up here with all the bird poo and stuff. So, nice clean gutter down that way. So, we'll check this side. Our gantry be nice and clean. It's probably just that bit of rubbish there that he was concerned about I'll check down the bottom bottom here um, is there some bird feathers down on that lower roof so we'll check down there as well so I've just been walking around um, I'm not gonna film while I'm walking around because it's too slippery it's this pretty it's it's nasty up here with all the bird poo everywhere and the wet rain so it's too dangerous Go slow and steady without the thing. When I'm stopping, I'll film. Um, 
I'll show you this. This is just the pigeons getting in underneath here, underneath there, causing their nest. Initially, um, they got under the solar panels, and that's where they were nesting. So they've put the guard right around it, which is great. Um, as you can see, underneath there's a whole bunch of poo and and whatnot, and then you get all that up underneath there. So it probably needs a good roof wash just to sterilise the roof. Um, but other than that, the gutters are pretty pretty good, except for that bit of grass clumps over that side. So I might even just sit on the roof and pull that out by hand, so pulling the vacuum out. And then we'll check that lower roof and see what's down there as well. Um, it's because initially, when you quote these, you quote them as the customer says, you know, like, there's grass growing out of my gutters, there's trees in my gutters. You don't know how bad the job is. Don't feel bad when you get there and it's not as bad as you think it is. Because if it's worse than what you think it is, they're not going to pay more money. So you take the money that you quoted to do the job and then what you do is you offer them an annual go to cleaning at a much cheaper rate because you know it's not as bad as what they think it is. So um, you say, well, we can come back and do it for half price every year and try and have them as an annual customer. You've already spent the money, the market to them. So why not try and get them on the books every year? So it's a two-story house. So that's why the price was up a little bit. Um, knowing that the um, pigeons were here because normally the pigeons nest in the gutters they nest under the solar panels and they cause a hell of a mess um, so uh, that's what it is so let's clean out that end gutter down there and then we'll head down to the bottom back one and see how that one looks so you can see next door was smart enough to get them at the same time four doors down didn't get them, didn't get them. Where do you think they're gonna go next if they can't go here? Gonna go across there. Two story house, perfect for them. No one up there, perfect for them. So, I'm gonna get a wet butt. But, better get a wet butt and then, so that's the problem there. Um, all that water's gonna flow out now. We'll grab that bit of grass at the end there. And we'll grab those couple of trees. Um, uh, camera's getting blocked up. A couple of trees down there, we'll grab them out. And then this old gutter's all clean. And we're done up here. As you can see, this is pigeons. So bird feces, feathers, dead birds. That's why you charge what you charge when you hear there's pigeons on the roof. Um, Feathers everywhere, clog up the gutters and just cause a hell of a mess. This low gutter system, it's all pretty good. Um, nice and clean. Just pulled out some feathers out of that downspout. Um, yeah, she's all good to go. Alright, so we're all um, finished on this job here. So we got um, one and a half shopping bags out. Um, the average men the average gutter clean any more than that people have let go for a few years or they've got overhanging trees um we got bird pieces and bits and pieces in there so it's pretty nasty um that's why i always put price up a little bit when i'm dealing with pigeon poo and stuff i just don't like to mess with it it's, it's pretty gross um but yeah pretty happy all around all cleaned um, water's running out we rinsed all the gutters where we cleaned them all out um, so yeah pretty stoked um, I'll put that in the trailer and take it home with me and dump it in my bin and then um, yeah catches on the next one